Hi, I'm Dr. Jerome Haber, a practicing periodontist and co-founder of Guided Surgery Solutions. We design, manufacture, and sell 3D-based drill guides for dental implant surgery. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce a novel 3D-based tubeless drill guide based on the use of Blue Sky Plan implant planning software. Our patent-pending thin-layer guides marry the accuracy of computer-guided surgery with the ease of freehand drilling. Thin-layer guides address the limitations of currently available products, allowing full visibility of the surgical site and access to posterior areas. Our guides and drill stops begin at less than $250 per case. Blue Sky Plan software is free, and the guides work with most existing implant systems and implant drills. There is no need to buy a guided surgery kit. Let's look at one of our cases. Using a cone beam scan and model of the patient, we plan the case using Blue Sky Plan software. The Blue Sky Plan software allows visualization of the bone as well as the soft tissue and teeth. You can do the plan and send it to us, or we can do it and review it with you online. Using the panoramic view, the implant is placed in the proper mesial distal orientation using a molar sized abutment and visualization of the adjacent tooth. Using the cross-sectional view, the buccal lingual orientation of the implant is established. Using a molar size abutment, we now go to the 3D reconstruction to finalize the three-dimensional relationship of the implant to the adjacent tooth and root. The plan is now done. As you can see, the Blue Sky Plan software is both powerful and easy to use. Once the plan is complete, the case is registered on our website and the plan is sent to us online. Since Blue Sky Plan software is free, we have found it to be helpful for our restorative partners to download the software so we collaborate on the surgical plan. We will send you a drill guide and a set of drill stops customized for your drills regardless of implant system. Here is the preoperative view of the tooth number 30 surgical site. The thin layer guide is snapped onto the patient's teeth. It contains an insert which has a small hole through it which defines the planned drilling trajectory. An endophile is inserted into the hole and twisted to create a bleeding point. A radiograph of the guide with an endophile inserted illustrates the planned implant trajectory. The insert is removed and the guide is placed. Notice the visibility and access to the surgical site, which are often blocked when tube guides are used. In this view, the bleeding point is visible through the guide hole. A spear drill is inserted through the guide hole and into the bleeding point. The drill stop engages with the guide hole to guide the trajectory. The drill is inserted through the gingiva and into the bone until the drill stop seats on the rim of the guide hole, creating a 5 mm deep pilot hole. A flap is reflected, exposing the pilot hole. Next, a 2 mm drill is inserted into the guide at an angle, requiring no more vertical space than freehand drilling. The drill is then rotated upright and the tip placed into the pilot hole. The drill is inserted until the drill stop seats on the rim of the hole, creating an 11.5 mm deep osteotomy. This image shows the vertical clearance required if this were a tube guide, where the handpiece and drill must be stacked on top of the tube. Compared with the thin layer guide, the tube guides usually require 8 to 9 mm more vertical clearance, which limits their use in posterior sites in many patients. The method is the same for each drill in the sequence. As shown for the final drill, the drill is inserted at an angle, rotated upright, and inserted to depth. The implant can be inserted through the guide, centering the implant driver in the guide hole. This can be quite helpful in type 3 or 4 bone when using self-tapping implants. The final images show the implant placed as planned in an ideal restorative position. While this case shows placement of a lower first molar, the same method allows the use of thin layer guides in second molar sites. We hope you found this case interesting and educational. Thank you for your time and interest. Please give us a call with any questions or to try a thin layer guide on one of your cases.